When I first heard I was going to Syria, I was obviously quite nervous, uh, really quite scared. Perhaps unsurprisingly, my family and my friends were not particularly impressed with my choice to go to Syria. All that I'd seen about Syria before in the news was, it was constant bombing and violence, and that was what I was expecting to see. It's a place that has just the biggest humanitarian medical needs in the world right now. The amount of medical need there is, is insane, um, and I really feel that we can have an impact there. I also find the, the people very surprisingly welcoming. Um, I've made some good friends in, in the last year in Syria. Uh, I feel that we're actually, MSF is having an impact on the ground in Syria at the moment. So we're, we're some of the few people who've managed to get the access and have that impact. I think generally now, particularly the longer I spend there, the more my friends understand and my family understand what I've, what I've been trying to do there. And they're much more understanding. I think secretly and quietly they're, they're proud of me, but um, obviously they're always worried about the, the danger and, and the problems that can happen. The danger is a concern to me. Um, I think it's normal, it's a human reaction. Syria, first of all, needs for the, for the bombing and the conflict to end, because it's pretty much impossible to plan for the future if, while that is still happening. I don't think it's going to be possible for there to be any form of solution in Syria until the bombing ends, because that's where, you know, that's where the problems come from. It's impossible for many people to come and work in that situation. I mean, you don't get many, many Westerners who are willing to go and walk into the middle of a war zone. Um, I mean, I would not go into some of these areas. Um, so I don't understand how we can try and do more while there's still always the risk of, of, of heavy bombing. In these areas, everything is gone. I mean, the infrastructure has completely been destroyed. So once the bombing does end, hopefully it will end at some point, then they're going to have to start again to rebuild. Hospitals have been targeted um, seemingly, and while I was there, two nearby hospitals were bombed. Um, it's going to be a huge, huge project to just restart medically the, the system. Um, to rebuild the hospitals, to encourage people who have left Syria to come back and work in this country, um, just to try and implement just basic healthcare that has just disappeared while, while the bombings happened.